Abdul Wahid Pedersen, adalah seorang mu'alaf yang akhirnya menjadi imam di Copenhagen, Denmark. Ia terlahir dan dibesarkan sebagai seorang Kristiani. Sejak usia 16 tahun, ia sudah meragukan dogma gereja dan memutuskan untuk meninggalkan agama Kristen. Yeah, I was uh, born into a Christian family and raised sort of Christian, not, not practicing Christian as such, but I was raised to know that I was a Christian. And uh, at the age of 16, I was uh, questioning my own belief, whether I was actually a Christian by belief or by heritage. And that made me leave Christianity and leave all religion in order to search for religion whether I was a religious person or not and if I was then what would be my religion and I asked all these big questions that I think everybody asks at some point in life what is after death what is before life what uh, what is this what is that is God there is God dead is God alive is God everywhere is God uh, whatever you know all of this Pedersen meninggalkan agama Kristen dengan satu tujuan ia ingin terbebas dari dogma gerejanya. Sejak itu, ia pun menjadi pemuda dengan pemikiran sangat bebas. Pedersen muda begitu sekular dan liberal. Pedersen mencoba banyak hal untuk hidup penuh kasih dan damai. Bahkan ia mencoba menjadi vegetarian, tidak makan makhluk bernyawa, namun gagal, rupanya ia tak bisa makan sayuran terus-menerus. Hingga usia 21 tahun, ia meninggalkan Denmark berpetualang keliling dunia. Dalam petualangannya, ia terpesona dengan ritual agama Hindu. And uh, when I was 21, I started traveling and I was kicking around the world for four years. Uh, started out in Africa, in Europe and in Africa and eventually landed in Southeast Asia. And in India, I became Hindu. Uh, because at that point, I had reached the idea that all religions actually come from the same source. And that uh, if I had to get into any of the existing religions, I could just kind of follow the religion upstream until I got to the source and that would be the source of all religion and the eternal truth. Um, it wasn't quite as easy as that, I eventually found out, but I, I went for a lot of pilgrimages to holy places in India and I, I tried to sort of live uh, the life of, of, uh, an, uh, of a searching person in India. I, I abolished all my worldly goods. I had no money, I had no return ticket. I had practically no clothes even. I had some homemade clothes and not even a pair of shoes on my feet. I had my passport and I, I had my homemade clothes and that was it. Eventually I got back to Denmark as a Hindu and I kept uh, doing my Hindu prayers and rituals, not very regularly but uh, frequently. Empat tahun ia praktekan ritual Hindu. Hingga suatu hari, Pedersen mulai terganggu dengan konsep Tuhan di dalamnya. Saat itu ia putuskan keluar dari Hindu, karena ia menilai terlalu banyak oknum Tuhan di sana. And uh, eventually, I, one day I found out that I'm actually not a Hindu because I don't believe in this multitude of gods which is in the daily practice of Hinduism. And that I was a stern believer in one God only. And at that point, I threw away all my uh, Hindu things and I was back to square one again. Hal ini membuka hatinya akan keberadaan Tuhan. Pencarian resmi akan Tuhan pun dimulai. Ia pelajari berbagai ragam agama. Ia mencari konsep ketuhanan yang benar. Lalu, ia menilai bahwa semua agama berasal dari satu sumber kebenaran, yaitu Tuhan yang Esa. Namun, agama dari Tuhan sesungguhnya hanyalah satu. Lalu di mana agama itu saat ini? Pada suatu hari dalam kesunyian, ia berdoa kepada Tuhan untuk memohon bimbingan. Agar ditunjukkan jalan, agama yang benar menurut Tuhan, Pedersen berharap Tuhan dapat membimbingnya pada agama yang diridoinya. And I knew that uh, now I had tried everything, I had gone halfway around the world and I'd searched in every possible way and uh, there was only one place now to turn that would be to God himself. So I started asking God, if you're there, you can hear me. If you're there, you can see me. If you're there, you know my needs. I don't know anything. I'm dumb as a door. I'm, I'm deaf as a rock. I, I don't know what's going on. I don't know what is up and down. I don't know what is the truth. But if you are there, you hear me, and you guide me. And that's what I kept asking. Doanya pun dikabulkan Tuhan. Suatu hari seorang teman lama mengunjunginya. 
ia datang bersama beberapa teman muslimnya dan mengajaknya untuk menjelajahi gurun Sahara, dia merencanakan petualangan ke gurun Sahara untuk belajar beberapa hal dari suku Tuareg. Tuareg adalah grup etnis Berber Nomaden, kebanyakan bangsa Tuareg kini tinggal di Afrika Barat, karena mereka Nomaden, mereka selalu berpindah di sepanjang gurun Sahara, mereka tersebar di sepanjang Nigeria, Mali, Aljazair, Burkina Faso dan Libya, mereka beragama Islam, Pedersen pun menyetujui, ikut dengan mereka. Ia tidak keberatan tinggal di antara Muslim, tapi ia tidak akan pernah masuk Islam, tegasnya. And eventually, Allah sent me to a group of Muslims here in Copenhagen. I was living in an entirely different part of Denmark. And they were going for a quest into the Sahara Desert, and they wanted me with them because I'd crossed the Sahara Desert before. So I said, yes, I'll come with you. I had no intention of becoming Muslim. Petualangan bersama kelompok Muslim pun dimulai. Banyak pengetahuan baru yang ia dapatkan selama perjalanan itu. Khususnya pengetahuan tentang ketuhanan yang ternyata, semua ini terhubung dengan doanya pada hari itu. Ia memperhatikan bagaimana Muslim sholat, berjamaah, berwudu ataupun berdoa, dan ia terkejut dengan sholat tahajud mereka pada suatu malam, bagaimana bisa mereka bangkit dari tidur indahnya dan menghadap Tuhannya di malam selarut itu. But the very first night when I was with these guys, uh, which was in May 1982, they got up to pray at about two, three o'clock, whatever. And seeing them getting up to pray was like a slap in my face because I had prayed now and then. Whenever I had any spare time, I could give it to God. And here these guys got out of their bed to pray extremely early in the morning, which would be in the middle of the night. And I was so ashamed because I thought I have something I want to talk to God about. And I've never really sort of given it high priority. And here are these guys who have some odd religion, and they get up to pray like that. Namun akhirnya Pedersen tertarik untuk ikut sholat bersama mereka, meski ia pun belum bersyahadat pada saat itu. Setelah itulah ia baru menyadari bahwa selama ini ia sudah berislam karena ia juga meyakini Tuhan itu esa. Karena hampirlah ia disebut Islam jika ia tidak menyekutukan Tuhan dengan apapun yang ada di langit maupun di bumi. Ini sangat mirip seperti ayat yang ia jumpai dalam kitab agamanya terdahulu. Jangan membuat bagimu patung yang menyerupai apapun yang ada di langit di atas, atau yang ada di bumi di bawah, atau yang ada di dalam air di bawah bumi. Alkitab Keluaran 20.4.6 Janganlah kamu berpaling kepada berhala-berhala dan janganlah kamu membuat bagimu dewa tuangan, akulah Tuhan, Allahmu. Alkitab Imamat 19.4 So I asked him, can I pray with you? He said, sure, no problem. And I prayed like I used to pray. I, I tried to follow their movement, not to disturb them. And I, I prayed the same as always. And afterwards they asked me, what, why did you pray and what did you ask for? So I told them. And they started laughing because they asked me, what do you believe? And I said, I believe that there is only one God. I believe that all religions come from the same place. And I believe that the word of God is always there, free of charge, for anyone to take. And then they started laughing and said, you're a Muslim. I said, okay, no problem. Pe sejak hari itulah ia bersyahadat dan mendedikasikan seluruh hidupnya untuk beribadah kepada satu Tuhan saja, yaitu Allah. Ia menghabiskan hidupnya untuk mempelajari Islam dan menjadi cendekiawan Muslim di Denmark. Bahkan ungkapnya, saat ini Islam di Eropa sedang bersinar terang. Setiap hari selalu ada mualaf baru yang ia syahadatkan, seperti yang ia sampaikan dalam acara Maulid Nabi Muhammad beberapa waktu lalu di Malaysia. The rahmatul alamin, the nur of Sayyidina Muhammad alaihi afdullah salatu wassalam has traveled to every corner of the world today, even to that remote place in the northern part of Europe where his light is shining ever stronger and stronger. I can tell you just for, as a bit of information that within the last three days before I left to here, I took seven shahadas bifadlillahi ta'ala. Apabila telah datang pertolongan Allah dan kemenangan dan kamu lihat manusia masuk agama Allah dengan berbondong-bondong, Quran Surat An-Nasr ayat 1 sampai ayat 2. Alhamdulillahirrohbilalamin. Alhamdulillahirrohbilalamin.